Hi, I'm Kaname. Today I'm going to talk about ending particle ne. Ending particle ne has many different functions. Based on the situations or the way you use it, it could have different meaning. This kind of nuance is so hard to grasp, so I've seen many Japanese learners made mistakes in using wrong ending particles. In some situations, if you use wrong ending particle, then the sentence doesn't make sense. It is a very important element in communicating in Japanese. So today I'm going to introduce to you the ways people use the ending particle ne and the function of it. First, I'm going to introduce to you the very basic way that people use the ending particle ne. So ne is used to express I'm agreeing with you feeling or seek validation from the listener about something that you and the listener can perceive at the moment of speaking. So say you and me are at a ramen shop. We are having ramen together. When I make comment about this ramen, oh, this ramen is tasty. I would say, kono ramen oishi desu ne. Why did I use ne at the end? Because you are also having the ramen. So you can also perceive the taste of this ramen. Even though it's a different bowl of ramen, but you know how it tastes like. So I use ne to seek validation from you. Kono ramen oishi desu ne. And you might answer, so desu ne. Honto desu ne. Oishi desu ne. So in different situations, for example, we are together, we are watching this night view of Sapporo. Oh, night view of Sapporo, it's so beautiful. Kirei desu ne. I will say kirei desu ne to you because you can also see the night view. So you might answer, so desu ne. Honto desu ne. Honto ni kirei desu ne. But if I was talking about something that you cannot know or you cannot perceive, I don't use ne. For example, if you and me are not together, you cannot see the night view. Oh yeah, like I went to see the night view of Sapporo the other day. That was so beautiful. If I want to make comment about something that you don't know or you cannot perceive, then I wouldn't use the particle ne. Sapporo no yake kirei deshita. Or I can use yo to tell you. Sapporo no yake kirei deshita yo. But in this situation saying, Sapporo no yake wa kirei deshita ne. Sounds very weird. Even if you have seen the night view of Sapporo before, if we didn't go there together, then you cannot use the particle ne. But in that situation, for example, oh, you have seen the night view of Sapporo before. It's beautiful, isn't it? If I just want the confirmation from you, I will just use the particle yo ne instead of just saying ne. Sapporo no yake kirei da yo ne. The difference between Sapporo no yake kirei da ne and Sapporo no yake kirei da yo ne is kirei da ne is used when you are watching the night view together with the listener. At the moment you're watching it. Kirei da ne, kirei da ne, you can say that. But if we didn't go to see the night view of Sapporo together, you went to see the night view before. And I went there today. In this situation, I wouldn't use Sapporo no yake kirei da ne. In this situation, I would just use yo ne to confirm. Sapporo no yake kirei da yo ne. Actually, right at now, when I'm filming this video, I can introduce things using the particle ne. For example, kore wa hon desu ne. I said kore wa hon desu ne. I used ne because you can see it right now. I can see it, you can see it. So I use ne to introduce this thing. Kore wa hon desu ne, and you can see that this is clearly a book. Kore wa tsumekiri desu ne. You see that, right? So I can use ne to introduce this object. Tsumekiri desu ne. Uh, desu ne. Because you can see it. But if you couldn't perceive the object, for example, I'm hiding something behind this book. So saying kore wa pen desu ne sounds weird. But if you can see that, Kore wa pen desu ne. That is fine. So people use ne, for example, when they are talking about the weather. Tenki ga ii desu ne. Honto desu ne. Atatakai desu ne, kyo. Sou desu ne. Barbecue ga shitai desu ne. Sou desu ne. Beer ga nomitai desu ne. We can talk about the weather because obviously weather, if you are together with me, then I can perceive the weather, you can perceive the weather. Atsui desu ne. Atsui desu ne. 
If I expect you to feel that you want to drink beer at the moment, right now, I can say, Biru ga nomitai desu ne. Um, biru ga nomitai desu ne. Say, we are looking at a very big building. I say, Oki desu ne. I use ne because you can clearly see the building by yourself. Oki desu ne. Honto ni oki desu ne. Are? Ame ga futte kimashita ne. Honto desu ne. You can also talk about past event that you and the listener share. For example, you and me went to a party last night. So I can say to you, Kino no party, tanoshikatta ne. And you can answer, Un, tanoshikatta ne. You may wonder here because I said you use ne when you and the listener can perceive the thing at the moment of speaking. How come can you use ne on things that is past? Because Past event. You cannot perceive something is past. That is because you and me have the shared memory. We can refer to the memory whenever we want. So I can access to the shared memory that you can also access at the same moment now. So I can say, Kino no party wa omoshiro katta ne. I'm talking about what I feel right now about the past event that I shared with you. 昨日のパーティー面白かったね。ね、面白かったね。昨日の試験難しかったね。ね、模擬試験より難しかったね。Even if you and me were not together, for example, earthquake happens. I experienced the earthquake at my place. You experienced the earthquake at your place, but we experienced the same earthquake. In this kind of situation, even though we were not together, we can talk about event using particle ね。昨日の地震大きかったね。うん、大きかったね。怖かったね。うん、怖かったね。Like that? いや、昨日の雪すごかったね。本当だよね。私3時間も雪かきしてたよ。Here, when I say 私3時間も雪かきしてたよ、part, I didn't put any ne there. That is because I didn't shovel the snow together with you. If we both together shovel the snow, then I could say, 3時間雪かきしたね We were not together. So in this situation, 3時間雪かきしたね sounds weird in this situation because you don't know if I shovel the snow or not. So it's just natural to say, 3時間雪かきした or 3時間雪かきしたよあれこんなところに居酒屋あったっけ最近オープンしたみたいだよ。入ってみよっか。いいよ。この店あまり雰囲気良くないね。そうだね。音楽のセンスも良くないし、失敗したね。そうだね。このビール飲んだら別の店に行こっか。そうだね。こんなひどい店久しぶりだね。そうだね。料理も美味しくなかったね。ほんと、店員の態度も良くなかったね。そうだね。もう来ることないね。そうだね。You can also use ne when you give opinion about something that the listener also can perceive. For example, you are cooking something. You want me to taste it. So I taste it and I give you my opinion. Mmm, ちょっと濃いね I use ne because you can also taste it. このスープちょっと味が濃いねもうちょっとお湯を足した方がいいね In the same situation, you can also use particle yo. ちょっと味が濃いよちょっとお湯を足した方がいいよ。So, yo is used to tell something. So, if I say, ちょっと味が濃いよ。Sounds like I'm teaching you. Sounds like I'm telling you something that you don't know. So, in this situation, using ne sounds more mild. Ne can add some nuance like, as you can see, you may already know. So, if I use ne, it sounds like I'm helping you, not I'm teaching you. このじゃがいもちょっと硬いね。もう少し茹でた方がいいね。If I say yo, I tell you this potato is too hard. Ne is like, maybe you know, maybe it's a bit hard. Maybe it's better to boil it a bit more. Ne has agreeable nuance. On the other hand, when you disagree with someone, you wouldn't use particle ne. In that situation, you might use yo. For example, you are being humble. You made some cookies, but you said, like, maybe this might not be tasty. But you wanna try? I try it. You said your cookie is not tasty, but I want to disagree with you. It's tasty. 
In this situation, I will use yo. 私クッキー焼いたんだけどさ、あんまり美味しくないと思うけど、食べてみるいや、美味しいよ。I'm using yo because I'm disagreeing with what you have just said. ねえ、この服どう昨日買ったんだけどさ、あまり似合わないいや、似合うよ。私最近5キロも太っちゃった。可愛くないでしょいや、可愛いよ。When you make comment about the listener or something that the listener has, you often use the particle ne at the end. For example, you look pale. あれ田中さん、ちょっと今日顔が青白いですね。I said ne because you can also see what your face looks like if you just see the mirror. 田中さん、そのシャツすごく似合ってますね。田中さん、そのカバンかっこいいですね。あれその車は田中さんのですかうん、そうだよ。うわ、田中さんの車すごくかっこいいですね。So the first thing you need to remember is don't use ne when you talk about something that the listener cannot perceive at the moment of speaking. So I talk about something that you wouldn't be able to know. 俺さっき水風呂に入って赤すりしたね。ね知るかそんなもん。俺らが一緒に風呂に入ったかのような言い方すんなよ。Many people confuse the particle ne with yo ne. Yone is used to confirm something. It, it's like in English saying, right? It doesn't matter if you and the listener can perceive the object right now. When you want to confirm something, you can just use yone. Like in English saying, right? あれ今日は月曜日だよね。いや、今日火曜日だよ。ねえ、ロイズの生チョコレート食べたことあるある。あそこの生チョコ本当に美味しいよね。うん、本当に美味しい。ねえ、てつやのラーメン食べたことあるあるよ。あそこ美味しいよね。美味しいよね。俺、あそこの三代目てつや醤油が好き。あれ美味しいよね。あの魚介のスープ俺大好き。So say, if you are making comment about someone, for example, comment about Tanaka. If you are seeing the Tanaka right now with the listener, you can say, 田中さんってかっこいいね。Because the listener can also see Tanaka at the moment. You are making comment about him. So you use ne. Tanaka san te kakko i ne. But if we are not seeing Tanaka right now, I just want to ask you, Tanaka is cool, isn't it? Then I will use yo ne. Tanaka san te kakko i yo ne. So that's the difference. So when you use ne, it sounds like you are saying what you feel right now. You are not making comment about something according to what you know. You know that Tanaka is cool. And you want to confirm Tanaka is cool, right? In this situation, you will use Tanaka san te kakko i yo ne. But if you get the feeling that he's so cool right now, you can use ne. Tanaka san te kakko i ne. Ashita wa Christmas desu ne. So desu ne. Jikan ga tatsu no wa hayai desu ne. Honto ni hayai desu ne. Mika san wa ashita nani ka yote aru n desu ka? それがないんですよ。田中さんは私もないんですよ。もしよかったら明日一緒にディナーでもどうですかいいですね。どこに行きますあの、レストラン要って店知ってますかあそこおすすめですよ。ああ、知ってます。あそこおいしいですよね。行ったことあるんですかあそこ雰囲気もいいですよね。じゃあ、あそこにしましょう。ああ、食べた食べた。おいしかったですね。美味しかったですね。あの、ステーキ、柔らかくてジューシーでしたね。そうですね。あとあの、最後のケーキも最高でしたね。いやー、楽しかったですね。そうですね。また行きたいですね。So, this is the basic usage of ne, but there are other ways to use ne. I'm going to introduce those now. You can say, なになにんだね、or なになにんですね。When you learn something that the listener know or seems to know, I just found out that Tanaka is 40 years old. へえ、田中さんって40歳なんですね。I would say that to you if you know that Tanaka is 40 years old or if you seems to know that Tanaka is 40 years old. It's kind of like I didn't know that before. へえ、田中さんって英語話せるんですね。日本の果物ってこんなに高いんですね。カナメ先生って優しいんですね。You can use ne when you make a statement about something that you want the listener to remember. 
it sounds similar to adding OK at the end of the sentence in English. For example, you want to tell your kids that don't forget to lock the door before you leave, OK? In this situation, you can say, You tell your kids that don't forget to brush your teeth before you go into bed. ね、ね。あと、北海道のお菓子とかポストカードとか送るからね。分かった。楽しみにしてるね。今度北海道に遊びに来てね。待ってるからね。分かったよ。気をつけてね。ありがとう。じゃあね。またね。You can use net to indicate that the answer you gave went through process of thinking, process of confirmation or observing. For example, you are working at the sake shop. Customer asks you, how much is this bottle of sake? You don't know the answer immediately. You had to check the price. And you say, えっと、2400円ですね. So this ne indicates that the answer you gave went through process of thinking. Sounds like the answer is not something that you are so sure about. So when you are talking some obvious question, for example, someone asks you your name, what's your name? My name is Kaname. In this situation, it's very weird to use ne. Onamaiwa? Eto Kaname desu ne. Sounds like I was thinking the answer. I was seeking the answer. Sounds like it's not the answer I knew before. Eto Kaname san wa doko ni sundeiru desu ka? Eto Sapporo desu ne. Sounds weird. In this situation, you can just say Sapporo desu. Kaname desu. あ、すいません。お会計お願いします。はよ。えっと、全部で has uncertain vibe, so people often use it when they are speculating something. あれ、風吹いてきたね。明日多分雨降るね。ねえ、私何型だと思う。うん、千代ちゃんは多分B型だね。ブブ、O型でした。ねえ、今夜カラオケ行くんだけど、田中さん誘ったら来るかな。来ないだろうね。田中さん歌う
。ねえねえ、明日また行かない明日いやー、でも、毎日食べたら太っちゃうしょ。え行かないのうーん、でも、行くよねうーん、ねうーん、ねわかったわかった、行く行く。楽しみだね。So, these are how Japanese people use ending particle ね。There is one different version of ne, that is na. You can use na just like ne. But na has more rough vibe. Usually, men use it. It has a bit of arrogant vibe. So, you don't use it when you are talking politely. Basically, there are a few exceptions, but usually people don't use na when they talk in keigo. So, like ne, for example, you're making comment about ramen. Kono ramen, oishii ne. You can also say, このラーメン美味しいな。ああ、ビール飲みたいね。You can also say, ああ、ビール飲みたいな。Na has a feeling that you're talking to someone who is lower rank than you. For example, father talk to his son. Maybe often use na. But in most of the time, even between male friends, they often use ne. So it's not that if you're male, you have to use na. You can just use ne. That's fine. 皆さん、これで終わりです。疲れたね。ね。ねを覚えるのは大変だね。ね。習女子って複雑だね。ね。ああ、なんかビールが飲みたいね。ね。一日がもっと長かったらいいね。ね。もし今度みんなで一緒に飲み会ができたらいいね。ね。四骨湖でキャンプしたいね。ね。俺、ちょっとしつこいね。ね。早く動画を終わらせてほしいね。ね。すいません。では、終わります。